Okay, so we're looking at Rise Visual Media. So one thing, and I, I know if you're definitely following us for a while, it's Donald Miller and a story brand and Business Made Simple. Um, a lot of things that have to do with a landing on a homepage, you want to do three things. When you land on a homepage, you want to be able to say what you do, how you can help me, and what you want me to do. So if we can solve that in five seconds, you're keeping them engaged in a way to understand, oh, okay, this is what they do, this is how you can help me, this is where you want me to go. Um, so we'll start at the very top. I love that, dude, your images are incredible, by the way. Um, Thank, you. Thank you. Your work's really good. So I'm like, man, that's <laughs> that right there, you know, it looks incredible. So uh, a couple of things I want to look at is when you land, great. We know Rise Visual Media. They know they're probably in the right spot. That's what they're looking for, um, especially, right? We know it's Rise Visual Media. There's not necessarily, there's some um, philosophy stuff behind like where you put the logo, but there's not really a whole lot that makes or breaks where you put it. Um, as long as it's on there. So the thing I think that's missing is what is like, if I look at this, what is it that you actually do? If I land on here for a second, you know, and I'm, I'm not scrolling yeah. down, this is top of the page, right? So it's like, what is it that yeah. you do? Um, Rise yeah. is okay. Well, I see some images. Okay, cool. Visual media. Um, I think, you know, we have to, we, we, we're always ahead of the game from our people that we're trying to serve. So um, I think it's just plainly putting on this you know uh you know maybe like you, you said real estate right was your yeah your main thing so like real estate photography uh in media or something you know it's like really plainly putting that somewhere on this home page mm -hmm. um and then you know sometimes it's a philosophical statement sometimes it's something that uh helps answer a question or helps them give them a good thought to how you're actually helping them um, you know, it's hard to come up with words right now as far as without doing the exercise, but that would be the idea is changing this logo here that you have in the middle to being more a statement and then exactly what you do. Hmm. Um, I'll just use ours as an example. And we play with ours all the time just because we're learning and growing too. Um, Ours, it's interesting because ours are coaching and marketing frameworks. Like that's what we do, right? This is kind of putting that increase your organization's impact in any economy with proven growing marketing frameworks. Um, a clear plan to grow your business is just a statement. So it's like, okay, that's, you know, it's simple. Um, I'm not saying it's the best, but it's at least a statement that helps them think, okay, creates plans to help me grow my business. Okay. Um, so that's something here, think through, you know, statement or, something helps them think, okay, cool. That's how it helps me. And then just what it is, hmm. real estate, photography, well, however you want to word that, you know, how would you explain that? That'd be my question. And then you're, what do you want me to do? Right? So it's like, cool, here's where I'm at. Now, what do you want me to do? Um, and I know we've got buttons up here and we've got social media up here and then we've got our services button here. Um, I would say, let's just be straight call to action. Let's just be real direct with them. Um, so my question to you first, Ed, would be what, what is the first step of the process with you guys? What, what normally happens? Um, so I'd say that the first step would be, um, I guess, uh, qualifying the, the, the client, like what, what is it that they want or need? Um, you know, so what, what is happens it? at the very, let's just dumb it down even more. Like what do they have to do for you to even get to that point to qualify them? They got to contact us. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So um, what happens when they contact you? Is there a, a phone call or a meeting or? So they would happens? do either, they, they have, a, you know, the three basic options. They can email, they can call, or they can send a text message. Okay. And that goes but, directly to our support staff. Okay. And what happens with the support staff? Are they reaching out to them through that same medium? Yes. Yeah, they are. Okay. So I would make the call to action something that has to do with reaching out to the support team, you know, mm -hmm. or um, uh, I can't get the words in my head right now, but maybe set up support team call or set up support, uh, reach out to support. Um, and I'm not saying it has to even be the support word, but sure. think about what actually happens versus a, so people are used to seeing a contact um, mm -hmm. button, which is nothing wrong with having a contact page on your website. That's great. 
uh, but I would have it more direct to what's going to happen um, so that they know, okay, when I contact, this is going to happen. Like I'm, I'm having a conversation with support or I'm, you know, um, seeing if we're a good fit, but, um, we have, we just have a schedule call cause that's all we want to happen. We want, we want to set up some sort of call and use it as a zoom call right mm-hmm. now, especially, but, um, if that makes sense. And sometimes people make their contact page, just changing the call to action to a different wording to where it's like, okay, contact support even could be a thing. Um, and doing the story of an exercise too could help identify what those call to actions are. But what I would do that I think would be really helpful is to put a button up here on the right side of the screen that just says that and it stands out a little differently, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, you have your normal buttons over here, that's great. And then something over here, maybe it's an outline box or a different color box that stands out, Um, even a solid white, because I know you're doing black and white, it's kind of your theme. Um, Mm -hmm. Maybe a solid white button with black text or something that's that call to action. Um, And then put that same call to action over here, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and then, and I, I know you, you probably hear a lot of this in the process with the story brand stuff too, but some type of transitional piece that maybe it's a video that's from you, or maybe mm-hmm. it's a, um, a download or a free resource or something you can put as additional button. Ours is a test right now. Take quiz. Um, you know, it's like, that's okay. They're not ready to call me today, but Hey, maybe take a quiz instead. Right. Yeah. Like not everyone's always ready to take action right away. Um, but this way I can get your email. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah. like, cool. At least I know you were here. Um, yeah. So just knowing off of experience as well, I would, and I'm not sure why this isn't pulling up the social. Maybe there's not a break there or something, but um, I would not put the social on top only because at this point, we don't want them to leave your website. Right. We don't want to make that the strong piece where they leave you and then maybe not engage with where we want you to engage. I'd put that on the bottom footer of your website and then make that just a call to action. Mm, um, good. then, so I, I, I like, we have here services about nothing wrong with that. People, people expect some of those things, right? That if they want to know about you, they're going to click the about button. If they want to see your services, they'll click that. And that's normal. Um, mm. that's good. So here is actually, I thought this section was really great. I love the colors. I love the, the little icons. Uh, this is your, um, your value propositions, right? These are the things that you add value to. Um, mm. and I loved it. So I was like, great, high quality content. That's awesome uh 24 hour delivery man that's phenomenal okay this helps set to me this helps set where, where you're at you know okay cool well if i'm not in connecticut maybe you're not a good fit right yeah. um but that's helpful uh convenient schedule scheduling yeah that's great too um you know i might even play with some of the words here but yeah. uh that. <laughs> but scheduling is great it's like cool okay knowing that if I need to get all somebody and knock something out, we can do it. It's not, I'm not having to wait to try to get things done. People are ready, standing by, ready to help, right? And there's ways to word that. Um, I would do, Ed, I would remove these read more buttons. I wouldn't allow them to go somewhere else right now. Where, um, it, on my end, it doesn't look like this website updated as far as where you're looking. Uh-oh, is it not showing on your end? I just still see the, my logo and the, our services interesting okay not sure why let's see i'm gonna <laughs> stop share here maybe i can come back in let's see what happens see. did this update it says started screen sharing but it's all black okay well let's do this it's recording on my end showing what i'm seeing i'm not sure why it's doing this Okay. So pull up the website on your end and I'll just tell you where I'm at on the website. Yeah, that works too. But I'm going to keep screen sharing so it's recording on this. Perfect. Okay, so I'm, I'm down in the second section, right? With your your four different yep. blocks. So I'm, I'm, I was saying you should just remove the read more buttons and not have them go anywhere right now. Okay. Because we don't want to deter, like I'm not saying it's what would deter, but we don't want them to leave because we want them to only do one thing. And what is that? that's contact support or whatever that call to action is. Yeah. So I would leave your info like you have here. It looks great. I love the icons, the images, the little text, and then put one button um, maybe right below all four of these um, mm. that just says your call to action. Mm. So then it's like, cool. This is what you want you to do. Great. Hey, we have great value. We can do this now. Let's, let's, let's get some business, you know, let's do this. Mm. Um, so now I'm scrolling down to the, who we are section. 
Um, I see you've got, looks like Matterport and stuff like that, right? You got the yeah. system, cool. It looks good. I would actually not put this on your homepage. And here's why. Okay. Um, people do care about you, but not till they know that you can solve their problem first. Sure, sure, sure. So this who we are piece to me is adding time that they don't really care about yet. And they may not scroll down further. Right. Um, because you're starting to talk about yourself, right? That's the, that's the part where yeah. they start kind of losing focus. Cause like, Hey, well, it's all about me, man. It's about me. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about me, bro. So um, I would actually, you know, the about, like I said, they're, they're smart people. If they want to go, they'll go to this about page up top. Sure. Um, so I would just remove this section. I think it'd be helpful to not put something there. Some people like to put, um, and you can always mix up the order of these, you know, doesn't, there's not always necessarily a perfect order as far as testimonials or where these things go, but, um, maybe testimonials could go there next or, mm -hmm. um, some, you know, a plan, a three-step plan. That's super okay. simple. Um, you know, it's, it's scheduling that support call or whatever it is. You're, it's your, your, your contact and support. And then we, we set up your first, um, project or wh whatever that is. And then, you know, you're selling, selling houses or selling, you know, your real estate business is growing because we're helping you get there. Right. Um, that third step usually is not even action they take. It's more just seeing themselves as a better company. Um, mm. and, uh, anyways, so that could be also the section here. I hate the word art text. <laughs> Say again. I hate the word art text. Um, Zach, Zach is our marketing guy. Got it. Um, and he's, he's been touching up on the website and I said, it looks good, man. I'm, I'm, I like art. how you've upgraded it. Um, yeah, but who we are with the shadow behind. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, hold up. No, no, no. <laughs> it's killing me. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Um, so then we go down to what we offer, right? You got the services side. Mm. There's nothing wrong with this part, having your services on the page, but again, they'll look for it. Sure. Right. So they're going to go to the menu or even put in the, I would actually duplicate everything in your top menu and your footer have links to go to your services, your about, um, another call to action button there, your social media, put all that in the footer. We call it the junk drawer, right? Everything just kind of falls mm -hmm. down at the bottom. Um, I would use this space also to kind of in the story brand process we do, um, in the messaging piece, we write narratives and it's a paragraph, paragraph of text, right? um that helps people create that story we're inviting them into um we usually put that towards the bottom of the website when we do those and mm. uh, i think this would be a good spot for something like that um again we could always talk about what that looks like but i don't think you need the what we offer as well and also think about it remember we we're talking about talking about them you're talking about you already right now you're saying what we yeah. offer right um if you were going to keep this section on the on the home page you really wanted it i would say um something with you mm. um start your project you know or something that and i'm not sure the project's the right word right but the idea is that you're focused on them um even the bottom here so now i'm scrolling down to the testimonies great i love that you have testimonies you got the five stars um people like to see that stuff even sometimes when people think it's fake subconsciously they like to see it mm. so obviously yours aren't <laughs> but um <laughs> when you say how we can help you could either just do away with that altogether so you're not talking about yourself or you could have a statement um that just talks about the other people you know what other people have to say could be a statement mm -hmm. um you could say again you could say start your project or something it could just be it's just talking about them and then they say oh cool man they're, they're doing great work people have a lot of great things to say about them um now I do notice this button down here. It says, get a quote. Is that part of the process? No. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I, I okay. actually saw that. I saw that this morning for the first time. <laughs> no worries. So um, this is kind of fun sometimes because we're like, oh, we're opening more things that are going to change. Um, but uh, yeah. I would put the call to action again. Yeah. The button, right? So I would just all the way down the page, you're just putting that call to action button. Like we just want you to do one thing, you know, mm -hmm. just do this one thing. Um, and I know you've seen that on our website. We're like, schedule that call, bro. Keep yeah. scheduling that call. Um, so I think that's, that's a good way to, to do it. Um, again, the order of these doesn't necessarily matter. You can put the, 
the testament is up a little higher. You could put the narrative piece a little lower. You could put, um, you know, those, the step process we talked about, um, there are a couple of other things that could happen, but I think the way you have it laid out looks really nice and clean. Um, I'm going to scroll back to the top to where you have your, your images mm -hmm. kind of, uh, zooming in again, these look really great. Um, I don't think you need to change these, but another thing to think about, and this is just going another level um, down the road, is staging. You you probably have to stage it in your case. Um, mm -hmm. Getting shots like this, whether they look incredible, but putting people in them. Okay. But here's why: subconsciously, people um, that when they see people in the image, they can see themselves in that place, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you have got a family sitting in this living room laughing mm. or maybe there's a business meeting or another shot, I'm mine's not loading right here. I'll reload the page here. I know it's not a, I don't know why am I thinking maybe, maybe an agent standing there selling. That's selling. right. Maybe they're standing in front of a house shaking hands because they just, you know, obviously that's not what happens, right? Like people yeah, are like, yeah, they don't yeah. just stand in front of the house and shake. Oh, we've got the house. You know, that's not what yeah, happens, yeah, but yeah. visually they think, ah, that's what we're doing. We're helping people get these homes or these incredible pieces of real estate. Um, and again, your images look incredible, right? Like I'm like, gee whiz, if you could, if we could put some people on those images that are smiling, um, maybe sometimes it's real life, right? Like you've got a living room and you've just got a kid on the floor playing with Legos. <laughs> it's like whatever that real life image, people can see themselves living because that's real life. They're going to see themselves living in that kind of space. Um, now you're not necessarily selling the real estate. You're helping your real estate um, agents and people that are you're working with, you know, mm. brokerages, whoever you're working with. Um, but that's a, the same thing. They're they're going to see that and go, yes, that's what we want. You know, we want that end picture. Um, mm. Think about the the end result, the transformation that's happening by using your product. Um, that's just a step further. Uh, and I know it takes a little more work to pull those off. So I'm not, you know, your images look great as are as they are. But that's just another step. You so we got Photoshop for. <laughs> um, so so, anyways, any questions on what I've talked about? No, it's awesome. I mean, I wasn't even expecting so much, uh, so much um, value. <laughs> Just on the homepage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I tell people we're gonna look at the website, they're like, "Oh man, the thing about the pages," and like, "I bet you were just gonna spend the whole time on the homepage." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but that's okay. Your your homepage is your sales letter, right? That's the that's the piece that people are going to spend the most time on. Um, so if you can get them to spend more than 10 seconds on it, you're winning. And you get them to spend 20 seconds on it, you're winning. Um, so think about it as a journey down the homepage. Uh, as they're taking this journey down the page and they're seeing, okay, cool. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, this is what you want me to do. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Oh, wow. Look at the value you add. Oh, man, look at these people that have great things to say about you. Um, and then, oh, it's simple to work with you. Look at this easy step process, you know. Um, all just helps them kind of go down to, to hit that button. And then if they're not ready, that would be the sales funnel part, right? Like it's the part where you go into the, okay, let's create a landing page or an offer that gives them something for free so that you get their email. And now we can sell emails to, or we can use sales emails to bring them back to the website. Mm. Um, because if they're not ready today, they may not be ready for a few weeks and that's okay. Um, but we want them to remember you just in case they're looking at somebody else as well. We want them to remember right. to come back to you just in case they're shopping around um, and they're looking yeah. at other places and they may, they may only remember the last place they looked. So if they looked at you first and you're sending them an email for over the you know next few weeks, you're sending them five or six emails. They're like, oh yeah, that's right. Rise Visual, I need to contact those guys. They're, they're the ones. So, mm. um, so yeah, hope that was helpful. And uh, I love what you're already doing with it, man. It looks good. Appreciate it.